Fox 5 Health News and want to keep your brain healthy as you age, apparently uh, you got to hit the dance floor. Joining us now is Fox 5's medical contributor, Dr. Debbie, to talk to us about this. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so you dance and you keep young. Is that, the, is that the science behind it? Sounds good to me. That's the basic idea. I mean, so they compared, this is a small study. It looked at about 50 adults. So they were comparing whether dancing versus traditional exercise, so air cardio plus a little bit of strengthening, which one resulted in better outcomes, right? Mm. So, so both groups did well. So of course, exercise is good regardless of the form. Uh, but the ones who did more dancing had better results in terms of their balance, which is good. And also, uh, more interestingly, the hippocampus, which is the part of the brain that controls memory and learning, that grew a little bit more in the people who were dancing. So part of it has to do with if you're using your learning and memory skills, right, to to pick up salsa, jazz, cha-cha, and all these different things over the course of several months, then you might see that. But that's also the part of the brain that's affected in dementia. So in Alzheimer's dementia and other things, that part of the brain is what loses its ability to function as well. So we don't know for sure that it correlates, mm -hmm. but if you could grow it or develop it further, then perhaps that might protect against dementia. So more work has to be done, but it's something to well, think you know, about. As I think of it, also when you dance, you can learn com combinations, routines, mm -hmm. and that's really good for your brain, you know, your memory. Exactly. It's also more engaging, right? You have yes. the social interactions, so you have true. to pay attention a little bit more. I mean, exercise is good in all forms, so I'm not mm -hmm. uh, saying anything against traditional exercise, but there's a difference between doing some repetitive activity continuously versus constantly having to pay attention you know, and use all your skills. All right. So one thing that a lot of us consume in excess, at least myself, is avocados, which I then have to work off. But there's like 300 calories, you know, in just one avocado. Exactly. I, so it is a lot of calories. It is also a decent amount of fat. So 21 grams in a cup of av sliced avocado. Ooh. But at the same time, we still consider it a superfood because not all fat is bad. So it's mostly monounsaturated fats uh, compared to the more dangerous kinds. So these are the fats that actually help you. They raise your good cholesterol. Uh, they don't really affect your bad cholesterol. So for the, for the most part, they're good to have. Now, this new company, this European company, is saying they have a diet avocado that's coming out, which will be about 30% less uh, less sorry, calories. That's, that's, that's stupid. <laughs> so, well, I was also wondering how are they exactly growing it? Exactly. I mean, it's all proprietary information, but it's not a product where they're compounding things. They're actually growing it. So, how do you change the composition of an avocado without making it something other than an avocado? Altering food. Hello, hmm. eat, it's called eat less. Exactly. So that's one thing. I mean, I will say in other things that we have that are low fat, so other products that are low fat, a lot of times the manufacturers will substitute other things. Yes. So they'll put sugars, they'll yes. put other things in that, you know, have their own potential risks and benefits and maybe aren't as filling as a regular avocado, which has good fats and stuff. So typically fat is a little more satisfying than a lot of other things that we have. And it's not food. like it's bad for you. I mean, when you hear 21 grams, it sounds like it's a lot, but as you said, it's a superfood. It's good for you. Uh, it's a better choice than a bag of potato chips, I guess. Oh, definitely. Although I'll never give that up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me neither. Same here. <laughs> I can't be coarse into that, but I just, I would like to eat the real food. Yeah. Exactly. Not something that's genetically modified. Yeah, and we're talking about fat, but it has a bunch of other things like folate, potassium, a lot of other electrolytes, vitamins, minerals that are really healthy. So, uh, you know, the occasional guac, of course, is, uh, it's worth it. <laughs> and it has vegetables in it. You ladies need to get on that because you all need all that folic acid. <laughs> that's, that right. that's right. That's right. All right. Well, you, you guys have to be happy with the cooler weather. In Absolutely. case you didn't know, they're both <laughs> pregnant. That's what we're yeah. talking yes. about. Folic acid, cool yeah. weather. <laughs> I'm flanked by pregnant. We said, we said, Nick, be careful. This might yes. be contagious. Yes. I, I'm, I'm done. I got three at home, so that's that's enough. College tuitions too. 